champion this year, that's correct? Yep. All right, how did, how did you feel about that? You must have been pretty excited. Yeah, I was excited. Your dad, uh, your dad brought your trophy today to show it off to me, and uh, I was pretty impressed with the nice trophy you won. Uh, a, a, a major title not everybody gets to win, so congratulations. Uh, did you have a lot of fun today? Yeah, it was good. You think we'll see you back again? Yeah, hopefully. You know, this is, uh, I don't know how many times you bowled with Steven, but you guys have yet to explode. So what's going on? Are you guys jinx? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't know. I think you guys are due. Maybe the next time. Uh, it was a pleasure having you here, Katie. Are you doing anything besides bowling? Just working. Just working? Yep. You're getting your license in a couple weeks. Yep. The lady's going to be driving soon. Look out, look out. Uh, your partner today, Steven Reno, my boy. How'd you feel today? Okay. <laughs> How did the qualifying round go? I know yesterday you had a tough match at home. How'd you feel today? Any, any different? Uh, I felt the same. I just had that one big game and it carried me through the whole day. Sometimes that's all it takes. That's why you never give up, right? Uh, you had a couple of bombs. You had the Reno bomb working. Uh, a couple of tough fills. Uh, we're going to see you back, I think, right? I uh, hope so, as long as you bring me. I think I will. And uh, you've been doing really well with your basketball, right? Your, your school? Yeah, yes, I have. And that's Bay Path Volk, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, you guys have been playing some great basketball. He makes the paper all the time. Uh, your mom and I are very proud of you. Uh, a great job. Let's hear if our runners up today. We'll have you guys take a seat. A good job. And over the shoe with the champions today. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, I'm with Billy Bloom and Nicole Chelman here today. I know these two very well from past shows. Um, started off like a house of fire, you guys, with a 120 the first game, and then down to an 85. It looked like the whole lead was about to disappear for a second there. What was going through your heads in the second game? Uh, I don't know. I was just nervous, I guess. Were you nervous at all, too? I wasn't really nervous. I just had to start pinning and throwing marks. So it was probably the lack of pinning, the five boxes, the six boxes, those type of things? But you held on. That's what's important. You got, you know, a 205 and maybe one of the lower seeds, but at least you're in for the playoffs, and that's that's a big deal. Um, Billy, you've actually had some high scores this year. You've had three or four 400. Yeah, I've been over 400 a few times this year. I've been lucky. And you've got the record high for the show, which is awesome. Um, I was going to ask you if you're going to move up an age group, but I guess there is none to move up, huh? Yeah. Are you doing anything else other than uh, bowling? Not too much, no. It's bowling's my life. <laughs> Not a bad thing at all. Not a bad thing, and you're a great bowler. I was hoping to get you on our summer team, but I think we might be filled up. Nicole, you, how are you doing this year for bowling? Pretty good. It's been good. When before when you were up there, right before you threw your first ball, I was in the stands, and one of the people in the stands said, hey, Nicole, I haven't seen her bowl before. Is she any good? You answered that question pretty quick with your first ball right out of the gate, huh? Yeah. And you won the whole thing last year with one of the highest scores, correct? Mm -hmm. What are you averaging this year? Just a 92. This year isn't that good for me, but I'm trying to pick it up. Well, Woburn can be a tricky house some days. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah. Um, are you doing any other sports this winter? Um, no sports, just working. Working? Where do you work? Yeah, you don't have to name the business if you want. What type? Um, I work the YMCA. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you wanted to give them a free plug or not. Do you work with the kids set up a youth program? Yep, yeah, okay. That sounds like fun. Do you think you can do anything like that after school? Um, yeah. Type I'm of a career? About it, yeah. And bowling, right? You can make a professional bowler. You make a lot of money at that. Yeah. All right. The congratulations, you guys. It was great seeing you again. Congratulations, I'm going to have to guys. disinfect my Billy, hand after shaking Billy's Nicole, sick nice boom, boom, job. boom, Nice hand. job. We'll see them back in April for the Tournament of Champions. Uh, Dan, another great day today, buddy. Thanks, thanks. Uh, we got to thank Dan with all the nice equipment he does and all the extra work putting these up on YouTube for everyone at home to watch. Uh, a great match today. Uh, any last words, bud, until we come back uh, in Woburn on February 22nd? No, just anybody who's watching, you know, I need mic. double mics. Yeah. I used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that they all bring their friends for the next one. We get a big turnout. And, you know, I want to thank Irby and, and Hitman, Robbie Taylor, for helping out with the scoreboard and the camera today. Absolutely. Without everybody help behind the scenes, your wife, so many people go into the production of this that uh, don't get all the credits. And Some of the moms and dads. The moms and dads. Up. The Absolutely. moms and dads that stay while these guys film the show, so it's, it's, it's right. all appreciated. Very good. Well, that's going to end another one of our shows. But well, one last thing, I want to thank the anonymous Red Sox sponsor for the $300 donation for the trophies this year. There's another uh, gentleman in the ICBA I'd like to thank for a $500 donation this year. And uh, we want to thank Bob Perella at Paramount Industries. 
uh, for the bowling balls and bowling bags that these kids have a chance to win. And we want to thank Sean Carroll, uh, who came up from the Alley Cat Lanes, for the many prizes he donated for the show. He cashed in all the tickets. He must have had thousands of tickets. And he brought us many prizes. Thank you, Sean Carroll. It was very nice of you. Uh, a great job, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Until next month, we'll see you in Woburn. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. That's it. Great job, Dan. Sean won a prize. There you go. Yeah.